Francis Ngannou, who stunned the world by knocking down Tyson Fury and losing a tight split decision, faced Anthony Joshua in Saudi Arabia on Friday, hoping to win his first professional boxing match. Unlike the Fury fight, Ngannou had little success in the ring, being knocked out in the second round by a punishing right hand from the two-time former unified champion. Ngannou started light on his feet, hoping to land left hooks and sneak inside Joshua's jab. Ngannou, just in his second fight, abruptly converted to southpaw. Moments later, Joshua fainted with a jab, and Ngannou lowered his right hand to counter the missed punch, leaving him vulnerable to a right hand that landed him on the mat for the fight's first knockdown. Ngannou beat the referee's count and got through the first round, but Joshua had prepared the stage for what was to come. With Ngannou biting on practically every Joshua feint, the end seemed certain as the men strolled to their corners. In round two, Joshua delivered another right hand to Ngannou's head, dropping him for the second time in the fight. While Ngannou broke the count again, he was shaky on his feet, which Joshua took advantage of by surging forward and executing a bomb with his right hand that knocked Ngannou unconscious. It is what it is, Joshua stated in his post-fight interview. He's a great champion, and this doesn't take away anything from his capabilities. He can come again. I told him he shouldn't leave boxing. He can do well. He's two fights in, and he's fought the best. He can go a long way if he stays dedicated, but it's up to him. And that's all for your boxing news. Thank you, and have a good day.